Well, good afternoon, all of you, and a warm welcome to the Boston Public Library. It's really heartening to see so many people here in Bates Hall on the 10th anniversary of our Literary Lights for Children program. It is now my pleasure to present Susan Cooper with her Literary Lights for Children Award on behalf of the Associates of the Boston Public Library. If you are a writer and something bad happens to you, that's what you do with it. You tell it as a story. I feel so fortunate to be able to be the one to introduce you to him today. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the associates of the Boston Public Library, I would like to honor Christopher Paul Kurtz. Thank you very much. Special thanks to Kimberly, Ms. Rivera, that was beautiful. You did a great job. Give her a hand, please. So if you do have the dream of being a writer, follow your dream. Some wonderful things can happen. And unlike if you have the dream of being an athlete, if you don't make it professionally, as a writer, if you've studied that and if you've worked on that, when you finally get to be an older person, you have a skill, you have something that you can do. Thank you very much. And now I would like to present Chris Van Allsburg with his Literary Lights Award on behalf of the Associates of the Boston Public Library. The opportunities to use your imagination are all around you. Um, it might be the experience of building a little model boat. It might be the experience of walking down the street and seeing something that is peculiar to you. But there are always things around you that will try to get your imagination to go to work. The challenge for you is to not stop it and, uh, and to let your imagination go wherever it can. I would now like to present Laura Amy Schlitz on behalf of the, of the Associates of the Boston Park Public Library with a Literary Lights Award. I brought a hippopotamus with me today. Science, of course, is a kind of clay, and the ancient Egyptians made a lot of these hippopotamuses. And this is the story of one. I, uh, as was described in the introduction, was a child who grew up reading and with the library in a small town in Pennsylvania. I was in those long ago days when it was safe for a very little girl to walk two blocks by herself and go to the library. I went there often all alone to get my books and I remember still how Exciting, it always was. Thank you all, you have been a wonderful audience, and we really appreciate your coming to celebrate authors, writing, and the Boston Public Library. See you next year, thank you. If you wait till the bagpiper pipes you in, it will help us all get out in an orderly fashion. So please remain seated for one more minute. Thank you.